वन अगेन टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल ई एन सी एजुमेट सो दिस एपिसोड मेनली कॉन्सेंट्रेट्स ऑन द थर्ड यूनिट दैट इज बियॉन्ड द होराइजन बियॉन्ड द होराइजन वी नो वट इज अराइजन होराइजन इज अ प्लेस वेयर द स्काई मीट्स विथ द सी वेयर द सन सेट्स so our imagination and our activities are going beyond the horizon that is what beyond the horizon so we are breaking all the barriers and going beyond our imagination so let us see what is alpha node tenism is talking about all experience is an art Where through gleams that untravelled world whose margin fades forever and ever when I move. You see, travelling and gathering experiences and going over and over again and to. meeting all the boundaries that is what the words of alfred lord tennyson is talking so we gather more experience by traveling and we accumulate so many knowledge so about the unit travel for ulysses ulysses is actually the speaker of tennyson's alfred lord tennyson's poem is the means to satisfy his unquenchable thirst for knowledge you see the ulysses for him travel is the means the way to satisfy his unquenchable unsatisfied thirst for knowledge always craving and wishing for knowledge and knowledge with his unflinching determination so he has a strong decision and determination to travel to strive to work hard to seek to search for to find and not to yield he is he intends to go beyond the horizons of knowledge and experience also in the modern world the amenities means uh, facilities and comfortabilities of travel have improved of course and opportunities of travel have increased tremendously by different uh, technological developments uh, we can travel very fast the unit focuses on travel and the diverse diverse means uh, varied experience it provides different experiences it provides and the traveling takes the learners through different phases of travel and also this unit we can see different experiences the learners can go through while we analyze each and every constituent of this unit such as an adoration of natural beauty traveling for just to worshiping the natural beauty a craving a great desire for adventure and an exploration of uh, new cultures customs and traditions then the unit has uh, three constituents or three elements the first one is sunrise on the hills a poem and second constituent or the element is the trip of leola a short story it's a french writer gide mopsa and the third the last constituent or element of this unit is the sacred turtles of kadavu it is a fijian island 
or legend, a Fijian legend which is uh, based on that, uh, what do we call it, as uh, an island. Now, let us go for let speaking. Let speaking. Look at the illustration given below. There is uh, some uh, descriptions or uh, some pictures and uh, give a suitable caption to it. Look at the illustration given below and give a suitable caption to the illustration, a pictorial representation. So from this we can understand uh, it is mainly talking about uh, travel. Traveling. Travel is what is mentioned there. So we cannot imagine any other uh, or a football ground or nothing else. Uh, from the pictorial representation, we can understand that it represents travel. Then what more would you like to include in this illustration? So what are the things we can include? What are the or what uh, more? Would you like to include in this illustration? So we can include an aeroplane, a train, a mountain, a beach, a hotel, a city, then skiing, a sport, and dancing. So these are giving more entertainment. And also visual effects to our eyes. Travel is an integral part of modern life. People in a hectic life having no time for at least to rest. Travel is very important for the modern life. It opens up new horizons. New realms of experience. New horizons of experience. Imagine that. You are planning a tour to a place of importance. So what are your criteria for uh, selecting your tours to destination? So list them below. One is given there, then two, uh, no, yeah, three dashes are given there. You have to fill up. So, what are your criteria? Criterion, singular, criteria, plural. Criteria for selecting your tourist destination. Scenic beauty. So, we go for enjoying the beauty of the nature. So, scenic beauty should be there. Then, good accommodation and food. So, if we go to a tourist destination, at least there should be a very comfortable accommodation and also healthy and uh, what a uh, vitamin food. Then another entertainment should be there. If we travel to a tourist destination, it is to entertain ourselves. Then travel facilities and safety. So there should be traveling facility, there shouldn't be any kind of accidents and the road should be smooth and also uh, very comfortable and the tourists should be always safe till the end of their travel or journey. Then read and discuss is there. The lush beauty of a place is a real feast for the eyes. It uh, never fails to attract us here is an account of the magical beauty of nature. The panoramic view from the top of Tamarashiri Ghats towards the Arabian Sea. That is one of the tourist destinations where tourist modern people go and entertain, make themselves refreshed after the tour. There it is given in the textbook and reading just a listen. High mountains rise to the left with the water glistening on bare black rocks like tears of gladness in the eyes of sorrow. 
for a stretch away here with the gentle slope and the easy undulation far below he swam choked with the thorny thickets and the rank quiers grasses in whose bosom are stored the stream which water those large stretches of rice fields here sear and yellow after the sickle of the reaper they are whitening unto harvest or again a vivid green where the second crop matures and tamarashiri ghat is there is a given an explanation for that too is a hilly highway with the nayan hairpin curves from adivaram that is valley to lakdi in wayanad it is also known as tamarashedi chudam or ghats that is why so this is giving a wonderful experience and also a wonderful description about uh, tamarashedi chudam hills everywhere some arid red and unfruitful more covered in the feathery foliage of the eastern orchards as the distance grows farther hill and field all merge into one green plain and beyond gleams the sea hard to the discerned from the heaven that bends down and meets it the thought rises from the heart to that in such a fair and well ordered beauty the affairs of this world may perchance appear so strange so little comprehensible by us the dwellers amid its hills and valleys why not its peoples and traditions by c gopalan nayar in 1911 so actually this is a one passage about the tamarashedi chudam the scenic beauty and also the geographical features and colors so the first discussion point is discuss the colors mentioned in the passage so we can see there are so many colors colors given there black rocks black yellow rice fields yellow color whitening into harvest white green crops green color red hills so throughout this passage about tamarashedi chudam we can understand the colors like black yellow white green red so the passage shows about the various colors now let us go to the another second discussion point what gives tamarashedi its well ordered beauty well ordered beauty that is given in the passage itself uh, the first uh, sentence onwards you can merge the first sentence onwards you can merge and find out what are the geographical factors and uh, what are the colors added into this one what are the magical effect of the area and from the passage itself from the first line onwards you can go for writing about then the third discussion point is pick out the word pictures found in the passage you see word pictures the writers have the ability to describe pictures by using act appropriate to words in the suitable situations for example thorny thickets coarse grass 
Sierrant yellow. Sick cloth reaper. Wild green hills everywhere. So when we read these lines, we can understand what the picture is coming into our mind. That these are the words we can from the passage pick out for visual images. So pick out the word pictures. That's visual images. We can see such sights in our mind. Thorny thickets. Coarse grasses. Strange grasses. Sear and yellow sickle of the reaper. The, uh, that means the farmers who are going to reap the harvest of the field. A sickle. Wild green hills everywhere. Wild green hills everywhere. So these are the words we can pick up from the passage. Then think of a place in your locality which is not for its scenic beauty. We can, for scenic beauty, for example, we can think about uh, Ute, scenic beauty. And it is attractive and beautiful as that place described in the above passage. Discuss with your friends. With that, uh, let us begin section is over. Now, we will go for the first element of uh, this unit beyond horizons. Sunrise on the hills. That we will do in the next class. Thank you very much.